Lee from a former deputy police chief in the Detroit towing scandal. Celia Washington walking out of federal court after very reluctantly admitting that she conspired to take a bribe. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner joins us live downtown. And Jim, it sounds like this plea did not go quite as planned. That's right, Heather. Judge David Lawson wanted to make sure and he held two hearings. The second one confirming that she, what she said she did actually fit the crime. Now, leading up to today, Celia Washington maintained she did nothing wrong. Listen closely to what she said to 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell back in November and then compare that to what she and her attorney said here today. Absolutely untrue. Dollars. Absolutely untrue. I have never accepted anything for, from anybody in exchange to do anything criminal. Did you accept $3,000 for something non-criminal? Did not. But that's not what she walked into federal court and told Judge David Lawson. Today her story is she did take three to $4,000 cash in an envelope, but she thought it was a loan. At the time that she took the money, it wasn't readily apparent to her what his motives were. Subsequently, it did become apparent to her what his motives were. Why didn't she, she report it at that point? Yes, yeah, she should have reported it. She told the judge this multimillionaire businessman, Gaspar Fiore, paid her the cash to get more towing business in Detroit that's worth $2 million a year. Just two weeks ago, Fiore also pleaded guilty to paying bribes for towing business in Clinton Township in Macomb County. Washington may not have helped Fiore, but also didn't give back his cash. Conspiracy aspect is uh, when I take the money, Chuck, that's it. Now, don't, you know, uh, give it back and I spend it. So that's what happened here. She hurt a lot of people. She hurt innocent people. She hurt her client, the Detroit Police Department. Ms. Washington, just one question. Can you describe how difficult this was for you? In her plea deal, the recommendation to the judge is a year and a half to two years in prison and three more years on supervised release. Without a deal, she was facing up to 10 years in prison. And she's an attorney. We saw today a failure to take responsibility for being what she was, and that was a gangster. And because she was an attorney, she will lose her law license with this felony conviction. She's set for sentencing here in April. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.